you know, their air force in the air, or whether or not they just kind of decide to stay on the ground. Here, we, here go. we go, alert started. And that's the start. Wow, that's a lot of Reavers. Everyone's going at the same time. That's just so many of them heading off. What about on Woodman's side? They got equal amount of Air Force? I was actually at the Miller Warp Gate with you, so I'm now heading over to go find the uh, Woodman side. I thought you were playing TR, sorry. I'm even just uh, looking at the <laughs> So many. I, th I can barely render them all. Yeah, they're, they're, they're coming in and out. Um, but the general direction is, it looks like they are going for Nason's Defiance first. Yes, same thing here. I'm going to go check out uh, Khan Biolab. There seems to be a sizable force of mosquitoes heading to the north as well, uh, right now. Wow, yep, and the first air battle is kicking off above Nason's Defiance. Looks like we have a number of Reaver droppers. Oh, things are having a heart attack. Right, we're looking on the minimap. Uh, there's lots of Reavers coming in from the northeast. Uh, sorry, from the northwest, and there's lots of mosquitoes coming in from the northeast. <laughs> this is hard to keep track of everything that's going on. There's another very large air battle going over construction site beta, although the NC have managed to get a squad down on the point and are contesting it. Um, well, my client, I think, is freaking out by everything that's going on. Um, Woodman has a huge ground force on the, on the floor of um, Nason's Defiance. They've got themselves Point Bravo and moving underground into uh, Point Charlie, which is in the center, although an infiltrator has hacked one of the anti infantry uh, turrets. I gotta say, this is. Uh, I wonder if. Uh, how's your client handling up? Are you getting much warping or anything like that? Or do you get. Uh, there is. No, there. There, there is a, a bit of uh, lag going on and, and some warping and everything that's, okay. uh, that's happening here. Right. Uh, I, four galaxies of Woodman uh, TR just tried to drop onto the point of construction site beta and they are facing stiff, stiff opposition at the point here. The NC had managed to get in here and set up. It's a mess of smoke and maxes and turrets. Things are having heart attacks, that, that, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm watching the rats are just going all over the place. <laughs> On point Charlie at Nathan's Defiance. Uh, it looks like Woodman... Uh, Miller is trying to contest from the um, south. There's a lot of smoke going on. I wonder if the players are feeling the same number of that warping that we are. There is... Uh... The, looking at the map right now, there is a small NC force at Kessel's Antiquated Crossing. Uh, the big battle seems to be at the north seems to be a construction site beta. Um, there is an even sure. pop fight at Akan's Southern Labs, and then of course the large fight that you're watching at Nason's and uh, Gurney. I mean, it looks into the south. Um, uh, Hunter's Blind has been taken by Whitney, and to the north, uh, Kessel's Antiquated Crossing has been taken by uh, Miller. Seems about right, you know, in terms of yes. how they're distributing their numbers. Uh, it does not seem like Woodland TR are, are going to manage to contest this construction site beta. They, they just showed up a little too late with their galaxies, and there was already such a firing squad at the door. Uh, I don't think they're going to be able to get back here in time to, to stop this cap that the NC have going. Sure, and um, right now we can see that Woodman, at least at Nason's Defiance, they have themselves point for Alpha and Bravo, which are the north and southern points. And the Charlie capture point in the middle is being held by uh, Woodman, but it does not look like they have any respawns or places to get spawned in. So, um, oh wow, and they're trying to bring in their own harassers, but yeah, it's... it's I, I don't know how many people are at this little base, whether it's too many people. Um, seem much larger than like, a live server fight, which is, you know, giving everything a heart attack. The, uh, there is also a very nice back and forth, I believe even pop battle going on at Akan Southern Labs where I am right now. Uh, the NC have managed to push in and take back the, the main point, but this is, at this base, it's fighting balcony to balcony with that huge open courtyard in the center. Uh, and, and just a lot of back and forth, pushing with maxes, trying to well, keep your we're spawns at, up. Um, construction site beta, and it looks like Miller is going to get their hands on it, 30 seconds to go. They're really well set up on the balconies and just watching all the entrance points. Uh, Woodman TR is here ready with Sunders to attack, but number wise, it looks like Miller currently has the base. See a couple of Reavers, well, some, some mosquitoes in the sky. Not really any uh, Miller Air Force, but they've definitely got the ground. And it's interesting because there actually are Miller Sunders on the back end of their spawns, but 
Woodman. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is hilarious. Okay, so construction site beta goes initially to Coldstream Guard from Miller. And um, Gurney Dam is going to be capped by Woodman here in just 20 seconds. I don't see anyone from Miller trying to uh, to stop it. I suppose that Miller has decided, you know what, uh, Nason's is, is more important to us. We can always come back and Well, the they're also later. getting Kessel's Antiquated Crossing in the north. So, I mean, they're not mm -hmm. contesting every single base. Um, Miller's just dropped onto the blind. At uh, Gurney the, Dam. Uh, the Akan Biolab has also started a cap with uh, nothing but Miller NC forces, and even though Woodman just got their connection, uh, I do not see them moving anybody into that base. Completely Miller... and Kessel's antiquated as well, yeah. Yeah. Miller is also getting Akan Southern Labs right now. Uh, they did manage to kick out this TR force. Uh, it looks like they killed whatever spawns they did it's, have around. It's just like last Fortnite on the previous game. It looks like that Woodman is deciding to give up the Biolab. They don't want it. Because we go into the Biolab and all three capture points are in the hands of Miller NC. There's no... Uh, there's, there's no uh, Woodman T here at all. Uh, maybe one Mosquito driving around outside, but uh, it's another free territory. I'm heading down to uh, Hunter's Blind to see what's going on down in the south. I think Woodman's just decided, you know what, we're going to focus in the south. Can Southern Labs, yep. Web cameras. Observer cam's been a bit freaked out. Even though uh, Woodman did manage to get Hunter's Blind, uh, Miller has now moved forces into the point at Hunter's Blind. They don't have any maxes. I don't know if this was a, a beacon drop or what. Uh, but they are trying to hold the point. They, they have not managed to push off the point yet, and the, of course we all know that the way you hold this base is to try and, and choke them outside of the point. I don't know how long this is going to last for them. Well, Miller is all over. <clears throat> Can't Southern Labs and uh, Woodman TR has decided to come in, but oh dear lord, <laughs> it's a lot of people. Miller's taken it, uh, Can Southern Labs, but it's now being heavily contested. There's a lot more Woodman TR coming in. Uh, Nason's Defiance will still have number advantage for uh, Miller. Uh, it also looks like there is an attack going on a Hurricane Secure Storage by Woodman TR. Woodman TR looks like they've got themselves a capture point at a can Southern Labs. Yeah, I was worried about the, the Miller guys not having much max support at Hunter's Blind, but what they do have is air support, and uh, they are trying to, to rocket pod the TR on top of this point. However, they did just manage to lose two ESFs to, uh, I believe it was Dumbfire rounds right there, so... Uh, Woodman is definitely uh, uh, trying to methodically take this point back here. Well, we're looking at Hunter's Blind now for the stream. Uh, which the capture point is uh, at this section here on the south. All the game swarmed very, very slowly by all the I'd be very surprised if they were able to hold it for the next two minutes and twenty seconds. Normally, kind of like when the enemy's all around you. Um, wow, this is uh, we, we are definitely stretching the server at the moment. You can see there's a lot of working going on and also. Uh, but it does look like Miller's kind of holding on to the captain's point, at least for the time being, two minutes to go. I wonder if it's my client. Are you it, seeing it warping just, and people jumping around? I am around? not. Not still. No, there was there was a little bit of lags in, in the beginning. Oh wow! And the Woodman, they got Hurricane sto Secure Storage while I was restarting as well. I'm surprised about that, that Miller didn't uh, come back and save that. I'm headed up to uh, Hade Skydock right now, uh, as well, to go check out that battle. So Woodman has got a Hurricane Secure Storage, Miller is trying to contest it, they have it under control. Well, I say that, but incoming a large uh, Woodman force of Maxes and infantry, they've been spotted by some of uh, Miller's Air Force, uh, and it's a long run to the bridge, uh, I don't know if there's enough um, Miller here, I mean, they know what's coming, but I don't see any Maxes. At uh, Hade Skydock, Miller has this base locked down, but they don't seem to be, uh, they, they have actually nobody watching the back teleporter. So Woodman might just be messing with them right now the because Mayor and build up. Yep. there is nobody watching the back teleporter. And actually, as I say this, there is a, a max crash, a small force coming out from the back teleporter at Hade Skydock. It looks like Woodman's going to go try and take Lots them back of smoke going on, huge reinforcements from Miller coming into Earth and Secure Storage. They've realized the value of importance and they are just mega defending the Alpha Capture Point. There was potential for Woodman to get to the point and save it, but 
huge amount of smoke on the ground here. We can see the silhouettes and the rough kind of outlining of all the Miller forces, but it does not look like the Woodman guys can get through with two minutes to go. I mean, they have another attempt that they can make another fresh push, but there's just a lot of firepower here for Miller. Woodman does have some sunders on the ground floor, although they are being spotted, however. Looks like they are taking some rocket fire, they're not really deployed either. On the reverse side of the bridge, it uh, looks like the push from Woodman's kind of petered out. They don't have the right numbers. We look at the territory numbers. Actually, Woodman outnumbers the Miller Force, although some of the Miller Force is actually in Hurricane Amp Station, so if we combine the two. Um, my latency uh, is 162. I'm quite good at the moment um, with the relaunch. Somebody talking to me in the text there. Uh, the territory scores at the moment are 49 to 49. Uh, if it's Miller all down gets to that this, they'll take advantage. Yeah, they'll take the lead slightly, Miller, here if they grab themselves, deal with the storage in the next 70 seconds. Uh, but the Miller at, force here is totally outnumbering. Uh, at Hate Sky Dock, there was a small push from Woodman. They tried to get to B, it was just not enough. They, they were spotted and flanked almost immediately. Uh, and now we have a Prowler driver who is uh, trying to be creative and actually get inside the uh, the Can dome you have a look of the, at the Kessel crossing? No, it's, it's like a squad of 12 taking it for free. So it's 252. This is the Miller outfit. I can tell by queuing up their names. Uh, they are an NZ outfit from Miller. They're currently um, at least one group of guys defending this bridgeway for her and secret storage. 30 seconds does not look like the um, Woodman can make any difference here. They've got to place under in the bottom bit. That's totally the wrong place. They need to get up on the bridge and the jump pads. It's, uh, it looks like the base is going to go uh, for Miller. There is... Uh, I believe two infiltrators on the point at Castle Tanaquay Crossing. I can't see them because they are the opposite faction of me, but they do not have anyone who is contesting this base right now. Uh, so they're, just, they're, they're getting is, a base essentially for free. I mean, with uh, 30 seconds, like Miller has a huge overpop at Hurricane Secure Storage. I mean, even someone from Hayd Skydock, you always defend the bases that you have. You never, you know, rather than it's trying to get the bases you don't. So I'm surprised that Miller isn't pulling from Hayd Skydock to go to Castle's Quay Crossing and get it because that is a free base cap. I mean, I'm going to warp over there now, hopefully before the thing flips. I'm headed back to uh, Nason's Defiance. And, wow, look at this, it's a free base. It doesn't matter you have 336 people on the continent, it is a free base for Woodman. A lot of claymores around, I can't believe that. I simply can't believe that here. Take this base for free. And it's the, it's the bizarre thing where, you know, Woodman got that base entirely for free, so grats to Woodman, but Miller fought really hard to get Hurricane Secure Storage. They didn't need everyone there at the same time, but I guess they got it, and maybe they're focusing this more is, on the south. I, I don't know when the last time you were at Nason's Defiance, but this is the, the the story of the base in Microcosm right here. You have Woodman, who is absolutely entrenched at B. I have no idea how they're going to get get them out of here. Uh, you have massive, massive groups of, of NC Miller trying, uh, trying to push down the stairs, trying to push in, air all over the place, and so far the... The Woodman TR are just absolutely holding their own, but they're losing the base. They have one minute left. They need you need to hold more than one point, but you can just be an absolute no nuisance at this point if you want. Slowly being flanked though from the north side, uh, Woodman's going to get them to capture point. He just flanked around the uh, yeah, Woodman. Sorry, the Miller flanked around the Woodman side. So a lot of uh, Miller infantry coming in, and they've got themselves rabble point. Not that they need it in the first place, but it just lets them clean up and then move on. I suppose Kessel Antiquated Crossing isn't as valuable as Nason's Defiance simply because Nason's Defiance is a much easier base to defend. Uh, and this is maybe why they wanted to keep their forces here in case there's a big redeploy by Woodman. I'm headed to uh, Gurney Dam, which it looks like Miller is about to capture as well. I wonder if they're just doing a point hold here. We'll have a look as well. There was barely any defense. They should have just ran in for the point. You can't, you can't do nothing in like 10 seconds. You have to just go for it. And now, here, right, so here's the re role reversal. Woodman has a huge force in this capture point. They've got maxes, they can res all their team up. They will now have the base back in four minutes. They still have the Sunders to the north and a couple of vehicles whatnot. Now what does Miller do? Do they come back and save Gurney Dam or do they let it go? 
it's choices and decisions. They're still losing base to the north as well. Yes, I'm like... actually I'm at Hade Skydock where it looks like they did finally make, manage to make a push to B and C, although Miller is cleaning it up right now. And Woodman does not seem to be using this back teleporter. Uh, it, they seem to still be just at a stalemate at the at the front. They there's still no Miller by this back teleporter and just a couple of Woodman running out of it. And, uh, Miller's getting the third capture point. Uh, teleport, yeah, this galaxy we can see going on the uh, east side. What's also interesting in the map is that it looks like they're going to get for free Rust Wash Awful Pit. So the same guys that captured Kessel's Antiquated Crossing are going to get Rust Wash. And Rust Wash is one of those bases where it's horrendous to attack because the capture point is so exposed in the middle of nowhere. This is really easy for Miller to take it back. Just a couple of guys would save this. And uh, if I can actually find the capture point, derp. Uh, there we go. Uh, what's going on? So uh, there is a two-minute delay, so I'm okay to show this, but because the base will go in 60 seconds. We've got a squad of four people defending this point, and they're just being a nuisance. And this will be the second base that they've got for free. We, like have small one Miller guys probably spawned in. Um, I think I think we're having some some blindness on Miller's part of you know they're they're so focused on the large facilities they're they're losing these small ones maybe assuming that they can come back and easily get it although... well if they have if they got hate sky dog that's huge i mean that is huge that's taking a large outpost from the enemy and if they could pull it off but it doesn't look like it the air force is 50 50 at the moment the capture points are all flickering i can see a lot of woodmen on the minimap i mean they are spawning in and they're contesting heavily against the miller forces i think miller's really just focusing around the alpha capture point you look at the population numbers they're outnumbered two to one now and and woodman just got themselves rust wash a, another free base well right, so miller did respond to the can bio lab attack and they have responded to the can southern lab attack gurney dam the attack force they are responding we've got two to one numbers whether or not they get it back is another issue and uh, woodman's I'm been very Lambda. good being aggressive Attacking Lambda has two squads, including multiple Sunders uh, on the point. In fact, I think, yes, one Sunder actually drove literally onto the point. He is sitting inside the building with two Bulldogs facing wherever he needs to. I'm sorry, it's just one Bulldog. Uh, but this is going to be really difficult. It, it looks like there's only 24 people here, but they have uh, quite a bit to help them whenever uh, Miller decides to pull back into this base. I'm wondering, is, is Miller perhaps overreacting to certain base caps? Because they are doing like two or three base saves, and we can see their Air Force cleaning up the gurney down the enemy sunders, but they're being attacked on so many fronts. Now they're beginning to take Rustwash awful back. They're losing Hade Sky up, so probably the force that was at Hade is now going back to Rustwash to take it back. Uh, but it's a very difficult base to take if Woodman TR wants to come and interfere. Uh, construction site Lambda, you're not kidding me, that's also taking down. That's going to be tricky. You should go onto the point and see where they have the uh, the Sunderer Park. That's going to be a difficult little thing. However, Miller has managed to get yet another force onto Hunter's Blind here. <laughs> uh, they are. I'm trying to see if they have any maxes this time. That would certainly help them. This looks like another squad drop. There's there's no maxes that I can see. Uh, they do have some air support. Uh, I believe. No, that's actually enemy air that's uh, pounding them. So again, oh, they're going to get this in a minute. Because of the way that's blocked off, you have to approach from only one there. Oh wow. In the front is the the, um, the balconies. All right, so the Sun Miller forces are flanking the balcony. This is mercenaries on the ground, uh, but they're having difficulty. It looks like they have an engineer. I think it was he? Yeah. So he's got rid of the Sundra. So I'm putting down anti vehicle mines. Um, and now Miller's pushing it all. There's so many Miller. The Miller recall hammer is being called in. You can see them just approaching from all directions. I fully expect Miller to save his face in the next 45 seconds. There's so many of them on the minimap. Lots of grenades as well going off. So much so that my audio just got overwhelmed. There is a force of uh, TR Woodmen that are trying to push into the point of Hunter's Blind. They see, keep on getting mowed down. They could get in here if they wanted to. They just need to throw some grenades and, and push some axes. Nine seconds. I don't know if this is going to happen. Oh, they're on the point. But they've got infantry. There. There's not enough infantry. There's maxes on the point. One second. Oh, the point is flipping was... on one second. Uh, that oh was my god! And those, that was those Miller guys, what are they doing there? They need to get on the point, they're in the room! Why are you not standing on the point? Oh my goodness, and there's a resonator from the Miller. Miller knows what's going on. Lots of res kids going off. One second, oh no, it's ticking back now. The Maxes are making the difference after Woodman. Oh my goodness, that is, that's less than one second to go. Woodman but, is going to give me a heart attack here, I swear. <laughs> oh, well, this is close now. Miller is still by 1% in the lead. 
They are taking back Rust Wash Awful, but it's very close. It's a difficult base to take. They're losing, uh, well, they, they should save the Kambai Lab with the percentages that are there. Um, so we're going to go up north very quickly to Rust Wash and see what's going on there. Can you have a look at uh, Construct Site Lambda? By, uh, uh, yeah, I just I just flew over it. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Miller saved it. Uh, there was a large air force over it. I'm trying to look on the point here. So at Rust Wash Awful Pit, looks like there's only a very small Miller force. Uh, we're looking at the numbers here. Maybe a squad, squad in a bit. They are outnumbered. They were trying to do a squad contain. Woodman is pushing with the squad round the north. Uh, if I can see the name. Uh, S1 to B. Uh, I don't know what the attack is, but that's who they are. We're about to lose this uh, what, what their full name is. Uh, but Miller's cordoned onto them now, and then come the Maxis now. So the redeploy for Woodman is coming in force. They're approaching the capture point both directions. Lots of Maxis, but the infantry's been picked off. Now, as far as the southern push is going, still the Maxis. They've got a couple of infantry. Nine seconds. They need to run to the base. Stop rubbing around. Run to the base. Run to the point, Woodman. Point. Three seconds. They're don't go. Oh, man. Picked off by counterfire by Woodman. Sorry, by Miller. So Miller did some great flanking play just to kind of pick them off and prevent them from getting to the point. Woodman loses Rust Wash and Miller gets himself the base back. But so much more effort than it was for uh, Woodman when they got it with just a small team. There is a very nice little battle going on at Woodman ASE Labs. Uh, Woodman has the point back and uh, is, is trying to defend, but Miller has uh, spawns on the outside and they have managed to do a run into uh, the powerhouse building. The, oh, yes, the point is actually in the banana. They just, uh, I think they have enough it's people cons, to push through. They just need so to do it. So it's cons from Miller. They're also an NC outfit. Um, and they're currently fighting... Um, I think it's RP? It's hard to see the names. And, uh, stay still! Uh, well, there you go. There, there you go. There's a guy who's still. It's a, it's a mixture of our platoon uh, currently contending against cons. But, there's a lot of blue icons in the minimap, and where's the, oh, the capture point is on Banana, so right now they are in the Tetris building, which is the building we're in right now, and they're making their way over to Banana, the capture point is on the ground floor, lots of smoke, they've got themselves a point. Now because of the, the way the timer was, this will be a three minute base, I believe, once they've got the hands on the capture point. Uh, yep, three minutes I, and 18 yes. seconds, but it's a very large uh, Miller force at uh, Woodman ASC Lab. Is there a spawn though? I mean, I know they've got air control, or at least they had a galaxy. I wonder if they've got... I don't see any thunders on the ground though. Maybe they're using stealth. Check that bulldogging galaxy out. Wow. Stay alert. Enemy heavy nearby. A killer view he's got. So Woodman isn't sitting on their lawn, so not staying inside the banana building. We see a large number of maxes. They are pushing out the Tetris building on large staircases, which is where we're at now. And they're just waiting for the input. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the teleport room can teleport underneath, and then they can run to banana, but with motion sensors, I would have thought the Miller Force would move back. It's not over for Woodman, but it does look like they're going to have a very hard time getting it. Oh, okay. Look at the number of maxes. 2 minutes 20, they are getting ready. Uh, this is a big force getting ready to save this base. They probably, yeah, they're using the teleporter building. I can't imagine them running outside into the open. Teleporter. Is leading out. Here we go, yep. Here they come out the teleporter. But they're totally aware. Oh my god, look at the killing field. Miller immediately aware of what's going on. Absolutely decimating the wooden force coming up from what can only be started as a murder hole. And the problem is that they can't immediately get into the banana, but we have to run all the way around. So Woodman, I mean, they tried to be smart, but Miller totally on ball here. I am down at uh, Combo Level Telegraph, where there was a nice uh, squad or two of Woodman holding on to this open cap point base. They were managing to, uh, to hold people at the teleporters, but Miller just came in with a galaxy or two, perfectly executed gal drop directly onto the point, uh, had some rocket pods, killed everyone off, and uh, now they're capping this base back. Yeah. Uh, and just the numbers on the minimap is huge. I mean, my character's TR, and I can see all these NC numbers from Miller. Massive. And we check the population at Woodman AC, it's actually 50-50. I reckon, 70 seconds to go, Woodman, wherever they are, yet, yeah, right, my minimap's trying to load, are going to have at least one more go. They're going to at least have one more shot with 60 seconds to go. How they push out is up to them. Now, this is an interesting thing, Redland. And originally, Woodman was doing really well on the start, being very aggressive and getting lots of bases, but 
I think the aggression's turned now. I think Miller's now being on the aggressive, you know, being on the front foot. And they're getting bases, and it's, it's not a slow thing. They are slowly chipping away at the Woodman, getting base out after base. I mean, it is it is so close still. So many of these bases are coming down to last second saves, and I wonder if if Miller is basically just playing the game that we saw yesterday. Okay, you kicked us off. We're coming right back. See if you can do it again. At some point, you're going to screw up and be off by a couple seconds. I mean, and they're being smart. They're not just staying inside the capture building at Hunter's Blind. They are the capture building, but they're also fighting outside, preventing the uh, wooden force from getting close to the building and using you know grenades in a closed environment. I am headed up to Kessel's Antiquated, where it looks like Miller is trying to get that base back. So maybe, maybe they just figured, you know what? We can always get those back. They're quick captures. We need to get the stuff that's important to us first. Fine. It, it does not look. I mean, look at the percentage numbers. It's actually 50-50. Oh wow! Huge air force from Woodman just came in, but it is too late with 16 seconds to go. The air force has been called in to get rid of Miller's galaxies prevent them from dominating but on 10 seconds to go there was a couple of guys they're running in absolutely desperate last second but they're poorly being decimated by Miller's ground crew and the uh the air force battle that's going on I'm trying to see these mosquitoes is oh yes there's definitely a mosquito kill force going on ripping apart uh, Miller sky whales but it, I mean it was nice visually very impressive they decided to come in and make an impact but it was just a little bit too late and they lost the base if they can get rid of Miller's galaxies and their Reaver escort force, it will prevent Miller from, uh, you know, the ease of movement and moving on, and the, you know, the Sunder and the whole type of control that you can get by having air. This is just a microcosm here at, at Kessel's. Uh, Coldstream Guard was holding for Miller on the point, and they were they were backed all the way to the point. They had no spawn contain anywhere. And the TR that, from Woodman that managed to push in, they were just a couple seconds too late. Had they been two or three seconds quicker, they probably would have cleared them off and gotten that point back. But here, here again, a base goes to Miller the when Air Force it was... The Air Force and they've backed away. They're heading back to their own territory. At Gurney Dam, um, it's 50-50. Miller's made a save. Large number of armor and perhaps a group ready to attack on the east side. But base is being saved by Miller for now. Uh, Kessel's Antiquity Crossing. Uh, Miller's outnumbered in the north. Are you at Kessel's right now? I am. Uh, there is a Sunder that is parked at the... Uh, Eastern garage, but much more importantly, and I think this might be something we haven't noticed yet, there are five empty sky guards parked here, which to me makes me wonder, has Woodman just decided to give up the air? I have not been paying attention to many air forces, right. but when you see that many sky guards, it makes you wonder, has, has somebody just decided we're going to try and prevent the air rather well, than Miller's, actually test it? But look at the force at Gurney Dam, they've been sidestepped. Miller's moved on to x power regulation. That's why they, they can't do anything. Uh, so we're looking at power regulation, and I'm going to make a quick pit stop in the spawn room to get rid of the implant because I'm out of power. There is a very large force of uh, TR Woodman that is trying to methodically push back to this point at Kessel's Antiquated. They haven't quite gotten there yet, and uh, they're vulnerable to some air that Miller has brought in, but they are slowly making that push. So inside fixed up power regulation, Miller is on the upper raised platform above the capture point, using it as their vantage point. They're making good work of picking off um, a lot of uh, Woodman's infantry on the ground. The grenades are going in, the problem is the grenades are bouncing off on the wrong side. They're just going straight over. Oh wait, I think the back explosion is going to go off. Oh, so lots of grenades by Woodman making an exceptionally good push against this Miller force in the point. And um, if anything, this is an exceptionally good harassment by Miller, forcing Woodman to come back and defend their own base rather than attacking a Miller base. Miller did just come in with a, a decent-sized air force to Kessel's Antiquated, but they were a few few moments too late. The TR are now on the point. The air can't do anything to them down there. They can, wow. okay, you know, so blow up some sky what are we? about it. We are 34 minutes into the server smash, guys. Here's some fun statistics for you. There have been 7,600 kills so far. There have been 800, sorry, 8,100, sorry, 8,200 deaths. And there has been 600 TKs so far in this service match, and we are only about an hour and we've got like an hour and a half to go. So <laughs> this is going to be huge numbers. Um, what we got here? It's 50-50. Miller has a force. All right, so they're beginning to push in. We see their numbers coming in. They're coming on the top balcony. Massive push from Miller coming across the top balcony. Doesn't look like Woodman's got enough. They got a lot of maxes up here, but they're going to get flanked from AV grenades or conch grenades. They're going to kill my oh. Very good explosives going on, taking out Woodman's 
uh, Max Force on the top bridge. Still got 70 seconds. Miller's got plenty of time to get to the point they want. Woodman needs to reinforce as fast as they can and just keep Miller as far away from the captain building for as long as possible. But there's a second flank going in from the um, east. Miller's getting much closer to the captain building. They still have Maxes and they still have infantry. They're right outside the door of the A captain point. The Maxes inside from Woodman are dead and Miller's pushing to the captain point and that's it, the flipping point. So I was at uh, Eastacon Storage Depot and this is becoming unfortunately something of a of a theme for Woodman. They had the numbers, they had the maxes, they were pushing up the stairs, and they were two seconds too late to get to the point. Uh, again, it, it, there are so many bases oh, on yeah, Hossin, and when Miller it came takes back so and long. Took it. It Even takes with the so shield. Long. Oh, the shield was fixed as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's gotta hurt. Because the and shield the is thing. so powerful, takes, this base. It takes so long to get from the spawn room to the point you you have to give yourself more time. You can't redeploy thirty seconds in. It takes thirty five seconds to run from the point to the to the actual or from the spawn room to the point. So uh, it's another att attack attempt now. We got a small force of woodmen trying to attack construction site beta. Uh, doesn't it look like there's more than one 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 of bit squads. Kessel's antiquated crossing is um, Miller's trying to make a really good strong push. Oh Moss Ridge! I completely missed missed Moss Ridge. Miller's being really good. Oh, wow. No wonder they... So Miller's Air Force is here in Galore. This is their focus right now. 27 seconds. The problem is without any Air Force for um, Woodman, there's just no way they can get outside the spawn room. They're being absolutely suppressed. Ten seconds to go. I, I don't see how Woodman can save this. And inside the capture point itself, Wooden's got a lot of work to do. I mean, the balconies are covered, Miller's got the whole thing covered. They get the base by Wasp. That's Wasp from Miller. So, they've got themselves um, Moss Ridge, and they're trying to get them egg stab. They need to make a save on Woodman ASC, although I'd imagine they, they would do so because they're the only people in the base. They're applying pressure to egg stab power regulation. From Moss Ridge Command Center, they can push the Scarred Mesa outpost. How's Kessel Ring going at the moment? There was a small push from the TR that was just utterly crushed by uh, the NC. The Miller has multiple maxes on this point. I think they learned from the last time that they were kicked off here, and they brought, uh, I would say, at least, there's got to be at least 10 maxes around here. And uh, they managed to, to crush it. I have not seen another push from the TR yet. I'm going to go try, try and see if they're coming out of their spawn room somewhere right now. So the Miller force that was at Moss Ridge Command, I think they've moved and redeployed. But the fact is, there is a huge... Woodman Air Force, unfortunately about a minute too late. If they were here about a minute or two minutes before, they could have made a massive difference. Simply wiping... Miller's on the point, sorry, Woodman's on the point, but Miller trying to take the point back, just constantly applying pressure. Uh, if Woodman manages to capture this base, or sorry, I should say, make a save, it'd be an excellent time to have an infiltrator on Hunter's Blind just to kind of nullify all of Miller, uh, Woodman's, sorry, Miller's numbers here. Uh, Woodman uh, did manage to take a point back at Ixatop power regulation, however, uh, the NC Miller did manage to push back in. They're trying to hold from the little uh, the little balcony above the A point, and they've uh, managed to take a point back. And I actually think they pretty much kicked the, the push from the TR out of here. I'm trying to find some TR left. They've got really quiet here all of a sudden. Going from the spawns, but as it is, it's too late. Now, with their guys on the ground, does the Air Force stay here? Do they realize we have to take Moss Ridge Command Center back? Or or do they go to power regulation? It looks like they're actually saving power regulation. Um, there is uh, some kind of conflict between Miller's Air Force and Woodman's Air Force. I didn't see whether or not Woodman's Air Force was able to clean up Miller's or whether or not Miller's just left the uh, area of engagement. But right now there is a big fight going on, although it looks mainly like Mosquitoes taking down um, Galaxies and Liberators rather than Reavers. And Ixtab power regulation looks like it's been saved with one minute to go. Although, Kessel's, how is this galaxy still alive? Kessel's, uh, there was a one last push from uh, from TR, and it, it, it just failed. I believe that this is uh, this is going to be captured here. Yeah, two seconds now to uh, Kessel's being in control. Oh, Miller. there you go. So and that Woodman was uh, RPS. A bit construction site beta. Are they, is Woodman going to get it? Because they're on 25 seconds. I'm heading over there now. Oh, the point's flipping. Woodman's made a save. They have complete... No, sorry, Miller's made a save. They've completely dominated the point. Um, 
and their air force is <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it is impressive from one perspective. As you come over, you see platoons worth of air over there. But you also realize that they're they can't do anything about the point. That's great. You have the air coverage, and you can stop people from pushing there. But you got to get people down on the point. But and if Miller seems smart, to be winning that. The thing is, I wonder if Miller's playing smart. I mean, they've got a lot of galaxies. But the fact is, if you're working on a platoon system, um, if as long as you have one galaxy per squad member, then that means you can rapidly move your entire squad around. You can move your entire force very, very quickly. Uh, over a con data hub, the two air forces have found each other. There is at least a platoon of mosquitoes that is coming after the large Whoa, force of no uh, NC air that was not prepared in the least. I just watched their entire uh, eastern or southern flank get wiped out here. I'm going to see what they can do about this. I think it's this most of galaxies. I don't see the Reavers for um, Miller. The thing is, that if, was a massive ambush. If Woodman's going to keep this death ball of mosquitoes, which is, don't get me wrong, it's super effective at clearing the air, they need to be aggressively hunting across the entire continent. I'm going to have a look at chat fusion. Okay. I'm headed back down to Hunter's Blind because it is, it is yet again back in, uh, in Miller's hand. I, honestly, I know people don't particularly like this base on live, and I think that this is the perfect example of, of server smash. You know, the server smash tactics are different. Going to start doing what people do if here. If you fail, they, go back immediately. If you fail, go back. Don't worry about the jump pads. Just drop on and do a point hold. This this has become the new base to just you know what guys, we're going to sit here and we're going to see if we can hold what they throw at us, and that's what this has been all match. Okay, so I'm kind of freaking out. Some of the attackers at um, Jack Fusion Lab. Because I'm in the observer camera, I want to see who what outfit they are. I'm pressing Q, and they're like, I was like, you know, enemy medic in the area. And they're like, oh, what's that? It's going to be somewhere around here. <laughs> but um, they do have a small squad. Kind of around Alpha. Oh, wow. That's a lot of lightnings coming in from the rear by Woodman. What? They must have hacked Kessel's antiquated crossing and then come back to Chak Fusion with their vehicles. Perhaps looking for Miller Sunderers? They find a flash. If anything, this is really just... Get inside, buddy! You have no idea what's coming. Oh, the beacon for Miller. Okay. This is the first time I've seen Miller push out of the actual cap point at Hunter's Blind. They are, instead of trying to just hold the cap point, they are trying to hold the choke points that the TR need to use to get to the cap point. This is uh, a, a much better tactic. You don't allow them uh, access to you and, and they can't throw grenades at you. Uh, from the from the bottom, it looks like they're doing a very good hold. I'm trying to see through the smoke up at the top to see if they're doing the same. This looks like a much better hold this time than than the last couple of times I've been here. Well, we're watching the um, small force at Chak Fusion Lab, and it's simply just too small. It's only one squad, and the problem is there's too many entrances. Woodman's redeployed with a large number, well, I think a larger number of defenders, and the problem is they're attacking from all directions. It's just too difficult. To defend. Now there is an infiltrator somewhere. I don't know if he got picked off trying to stay alive. Oh, look at this light assault. Oh, did he escape? He did. Oh, no, he's got attacked from all sides. I thought he might have gotten away, but there you go. Okay. Woodman is doing a massive push at Hunter's Blind. They are trying to break through these, these outside containments that they have. They're just getting torn apart at the corners, though. I, I don't know. This, this might be the time where Miller can actually stop this push. Still they have another Air Force, I'm here watching day. it with you. I mean, they're holding that top balcony bridgeway. They're really trying to make a, a push, an element of, you're smoke, you can't come across, you can't push. And they are also fighting on, this, on the eastern side as well. That's a huge number of Miller outside on the eastern lane. I don't think Woodman can do this. Even with 60 seconds, there's just so much Miller. I mean, they are being pushed back slowly on the north bridge, but there's just a massive number of Miller on the lower uh, level. They have managed to, to collapse right a little bit on the east side. I mean, you, there's nothing really coming across the western upper platform. And on the lower eastern, Miller's actually pushing, you know, Woodman back rather than the other way around. Without any air force for, um, you know, the Woodman's The center has present. broken. The center has broken. There's a couple TR that are pushing through the center lane right now. Uh, they're getting mopped up a little bit, they're, they don't have yeah, any friends behind Yeah, but with 19 them. seconds and the smoke going off and they have to get down the top. Oh, oh, they're on the point. There are people pushing to the point. 
uh, when Miller's just gonna fall back on the point. They have so many people on the outside. You never know, six seconds to go. Woodman needs to run on the capture point. They got people on the capture point. They're barely alive, but they're getting picked off as they come in the door, and Miller gets the base. The enemy has the facility. A costly failure. That was a much better point hold from Miller oh, that but time. They, they... The top. Oh, it's so it's like an extra 20, 30 seconds. Wooden would have had it. And Miller's been cleaned out, but they're recalling back in with the squad beacons, trying to make sure that Woodman didn't have the chance to set up. But with the base and their air force, I don't see how they could lose it now with their focus. And, oh, I tell you what, uh, Miller at a certain point managed to get themselves four fingers, but four fingers is currently being taken back by um, Woodman. I am headed up to Hade Skydock. Uh, that looks like an even pop fight that uh, I want to check out here. Uh, I've actually found some Woodman Air Force. Uh, they are kind of staying below the trees. I, I, I assume that's to kind of keep out of the view of whatever Miller is flying around. And they hold one point here. Uh, Miller oh, does hero have. Oh, hero mercenaries engineer. Points. He's going for the point. This, this, this is a Merc's engineer. And is he going to go for the point? This engineer, you got nine seconds, mate. You need to go for the point. Go for the point. Where, where are you going? Ah, oh, I disapprove. I disapprove greatly. Oh, wait, there's some of them on the point. Last second mercenaries have got themselves from Miller on the capture point. And oh, but the TR is totally responding. They know what's going on. It says, no, no, you can't have this base. It was a violent, a very valiant effort to try and stall the point. But it looks like it doesn't like have any reinforcements. And that's it. So Woodman takes uh, four fingers. A galaxy of reinforcements at the last moment from 252. It does look so, but it's a two. Yeah, reinforcements from 252 dropping in. It's just a fraction too late. I mean, they were aware. I was thinking Miller was perhaps giving this base up, but you know they were aware of it. But it's a little bit too late. I'm staying at Staggered Mesa. I'll go back and forth between here and Moss Ridge. Uh, the people who are here, Mesa. Seem to be staying. I haven't seen any mass redeploys yet, ah. so maybe they're sending somebody else. Okay, a little bit too fast. Restricted area. Move out, soldier. Stuck in a void. That Miller's made a save. They got themselves to the point. Lots of Max's infantry support. Oh wow! Just look at that sheer number of people. They must have just really kind of redeployed into there. Um, so Miller's made a save of Extab Power. The fact is, can they get those same forces then to save Moss Ridge Command? Or perhaps assist. I suppose staggered Mesa is a would be nice, but ultimately you want to keep the bases that you have rather than risk the bases that you have for bases that you might not get. There is nobody from Miller really contesting Moss Ridge at the moment. Um, Two minutes. However, uh, uh, they have not. Woodman has not uh, done the trick they did before of driving some sunders directly up onto the point, so it's just infantry in there. I actually didn't even see a max, so... Oh, well, Miller forces uh, are spawning into Moss Ridge, though. We see at least a couple of squads spawning, and they're making exceptionally good use of smoke. I can maybe queue up and see who these guys are. Um, with e uh, um, DWG. With DWG from Miller are coming in. Um, as far as the defenders for Woodman, we can see who's defending for Woodman. Uh, we got one FFS. Looks like it's really just one FPS to maybe use the early guys. I'll have one inside. Lots of smoke from Willer though. I does not look like I wonder if the night vision has been equipped by the Woodman forces. They've lost one of the Valkyries. It looks like it's only one FFS at the moment for Woodman. Oh wow, look at this. This heavy assault is just staying in the point they've got it, and they're beginning to slowly push off the other Valkyrie. And Miller's made a save. They've saved Moss Ridge. Quite successfully, but in turn they've lost um, the attack on uh, Staggered Mesa. And Woodman has also saved SRP Hydra. Uh, there was just a massive sort of group of TR who, who pushed in here. There is still a, a Miller Sunder here. I'm, I'm going down to see if uh, that's managing to stay alive. I like the fact that well, Woodman's got double Sunders on a space rice body next to the capture point. Probably Miller is respawning in and trying to get in, but it's going to be awful difficult the Miller down. Sunder goes down at uh, SRP. I can tell when I'm in a side of a large fight because when I try and go to the map, the map takes forever to load because it's like, I can, wait, I can't do all these things at once. I 
I'm headed to construction site Beta up in the north, which looks like it has a, uh, a woodman pack going on it. Passing a large uh, Miller Air Force that seems to be prowling around um, above the trees. The Miller Air Force is trying to, I can only assume, get kills and search the SRP. They've been totally wiped out on the ground. Uh, there's maybe a couple of stragglers. I'm trying to see if they can maybe get asunder further back. But, um... It doesn't look like it. Maybe just be I, I arrived at uh, construction site beta too late. Uh, there was a gal drop from Miller that uh, cleared this point, and uh, this is it. over now. Yes. The Kessels, uh, TR, they've got Kessels antiquated crossing. They, they're doing a re-attack. We can see it's going with uh, 1 minute 30 to go. You have a look there and see what's going on. Kessels and Hunter's Blind definitely seem to be the uh, the hot places. Stay frosty. This fight is all but won. Uh, TR have a Sunder parked in the western garage. And again, Miller's here with some air. Their air isn't going to do anything at this base. They need people on the ground. Maybe some vehicles if they can get creative harassers down there to at least help them push into the point. You and I, we're currently at 58 to 41, right? How many territories does uh, Woodman need to take to get back to being balanced? I would have to look at the map here. Hold on. I think that regardless of anything else, they need to get rid of that middle section. That's that's really what's taken from them. Uh, they're fairly even at the at the northern side. They're even fairly even in the south, at least contesting. But what they've lost is Gurney and Woodman ASC and South of Khan and all the way into Mossridge. That's where they've lost most of their territory. And the gains that uh, uh, that Miller has gotten aren't just the neutral territories of those center lanes. They've also taken those four bases away from them and now are back at Staggered Mason trying to take that as well. So if, if they need to take anywhere, they need to make up what they've lost in the center. Maybe they do that in the center, maybe they do it in the south of the north. XDT just made a stunning, stunning last second save on the capture point. They didn't have as many numbers um, as they did last time in the push, but uh, they just they flanked him from both sides. One side was stopped, but the other side pushed in. And although it looks like there's a huge number on the map now, that's because more and more Miller forces are just respawning in and making a save. The actual You're talking at Kessels? It, at Kessels. Um, it was it a was, uh, flank in the side and coming in and they just made a kill and it was uh, very, very close. Woodman TR almost got it, like within like a few seconds. We can see Woodman TR has gone back to uh, construction site beta again, I think. If we're talking no. about the game of inches of do you secure the base in that last second or do you lose the base in that last second? I, Miller's winning that game. They may not be winning oh, everything that's else. Ballsy. So Woodman but... just had a galaxy and dropped like a whole bunch of guys. But let's be clear, they are ridiculously outnumbered. I mean, where do you see it where, right guys, I'm gonna drop you into like a hornet's nest. You're outnumbered five to one. Good luck. <laughs> you you were like, ah, oh, I don't want to do that. Woodman's pushing from the south. They must have a sunder. Can you check out Staggered, please? I am oh, at Staggered got... right now. Yes. We've got a very nicely Hudden Sundra to the south. It is allowing a redeploy of Woodman to spawn in and still contest the capture point. The problem is Miller isn't leaving. They know that Woodman's still in forces. They can see the minimap and follow logically where the Sundra is. And the problem is that the reinforced time... They the just lost the stairs, though. Small stairs are gone, big stairs are gone, and the uh, Woodman two TR to are pushed yeah. in now. Yeah. It looks like uh, Woodman TR trying to make another push on extra power regulation. And Miller's trying to make a push on uh, Space Rice Paddy. So if you want to check Space Rice Paddy, I'll um, okay. go down south after this fight at uh, Kessel is over. I tell you what, Woodman, they're not giving up. They, they have managed to flank themselves all the way to the west. I think it's because Miller's redeploying. It's down to fill. It's 50-50 numbers. Miller's still trying to make a save. Uh, they've still got a minute 14 to save, so I mean, if Woodman was to grab this point, it'd be less than a 3 minute base capture. They're, they're you know, they're slowly applying pressure, if you look at the name. I don't see many maxes for um, Woodman, however, whether or not they're low or out. Miller's being focused and contained only inside the capture point. They're going to be very susceptible to grenades, flanking from all directions, which looks like what's going on. Massive TR, Mozzie and Dante cross aim towards Mossridge. I am at Space Rice Paddy, SRP Hydroponics, and uh, 
large, large middle force on the point. So far, the TR have not even managed to get up onto the actual dais where the, the building sits. They're trying to run around on the ground and, and do flanking maneuvers. There is a significant, oh, there was a, a significant Air Force uh, presence here from Miller that uh, just, we, we know from previous experience here, if you can manage to bulldog the only couple of, uh, of main routes across from the spawn room, you're going to make life really difficult for those people trying to respawn and resecure this base. Although there is a great deal of TR spawning in right now, we might be seeing a large push here in a moment. So the wooden force that's currently defending Kesselan's way across here, an extremely valiant defense. I mean, they're outnumbered two to one, if not more, and they've managed to get the cap point almost back to a complete save. Um, they did have some guys at Jack Fusion Lab, but they weren't able to get the point because they didn't finally save it. So Wooden is going to have to come back and make a proper save. It's only three minutes to make go, so we'll come back here in a sec. We're going to have a look at Moss Ridge. You said there was an Air Force there? Oh, well, we see the Miller's Air Force. Wooden has to contend now with the fresh reinforcements coming from the spawn room. So yes, they might grab the capture point finally now, like 30 seconds too late, but Mills is gonna keep respawning and respawning and respawning, and this capture point is super exposed to air from the balcony from the doorways that can just be turned into the rockets. It, it becomes more and more clear as we see this. You know, it, it is not just about redeploying. It's not that simple. You have to know when to redeploy and how much time it takes for your guys to get there. And you can drop two, three platoons, too many people to take back a point, and if you're five seconds late to the point, it's you're going to have a bad day. And now you now you suddenly have to turn your resecure force into a four-minute hold force without any spawns, without any sunders, without any galaxies. And, and it just it is, doesn't work. This holding force, they couldn't hold for more than a minute, so Woodman's been mopped up. Just the miller just applied lots of pressure. And as far as Moss Ridge, they've saved Moss Ridge. So Moss Ridge Command Center and SRP, Space Riot, you know, Space Rice Paddy, Hydroponics Inc. They're really good points, you know, it's jutting straight into enemy territory. Um, Woodman TR, however, did manage to get extra power regulation, and they are at least starting a hack on Gurney Dam, so, you know, Miller's going to have to go back and deal with that. Miller, in the meantime, has taken four fingers, although they're yes, stuck Yes, I was at just down here. Southgate checkpoint. Now, Miller can, in theory, attack construction site Zeta. Uh, that is another theoretically, quote marks, easier base to take. But then they're going to get stuck at large outposts, you know, the Extep Amp Station, the Genesis Terraforming Plant, the Southgate Checkpoint. The, you know, so they are limited really on where they can go. Um, and it looks like Miller's actually made a safe at Kessels as well, and it's very close as well. I'm going to go over there. I'm Check heading to Gurney Dam. Okay. I'm already at Four Fingers. There is a large force that's moving towards Southgate Checkpoint that I don't see any wooden reacting to, but I'm heading to Gurney Dam right now. Well, Miller has um, saved the capture point uh, with three minutes till save, so there's one minute if, to go if we get the capture point back. They have a Sundra inside the eastern garage. It's a much closer respawn. They are pummeling and just, you know, absolutely respawning and heavily trying to apply pressure to the capture point, but only from one direction. Number-wise, it's still 50-50. The time to respawn is closer for the Woodman force. It looks like Woodman's got himself a galaxy. It doesn't look like he's actually building off them effectively. Right? You need to kind of be hovering over this building and flanking in fire. It looks like Miller's actually the force is pushing uh, Woodman back rather than the other way around. There is a small force of TR that's trying to hold Gurney Dam. They only have one max. Looks like he's about to get taken out, and there's a massive uh, Miller NC force that just pushed up the stairs and, and resecured this. So I don't know if that was just basically a distraction. They, uh, it did not look to me like uh, there was enough Woodman here to, to make a real push for this uh, Gurney Dam. Although they are spawning in from the other side, so maybe it was just a matter of uh, these guys were a little too late getting here. They're pushing back across the bridges, and uh, we're going to go try and clear out that point again. And the capture point is now again going into the hands of Woodman here. Did, oh, they had someone on it? Wood, Miller's got it back. It's very hard to see in the smoke. No, there is a new force of uh, Woodman coming in from the other direction. I think they're beginning to outpop. Yeah, they outpop from 60 to 40 now, so Miller's getting flanked. One hero, heavy assault. What can he do? He's being attacked from all directions. Oh, he's running into the comp building, getting a couple of kills. Wow, he's getting a second kill. He's got a third kill, he's throwing a C4, he C4 the match, oh my god! Oh wow, that, that, was a, that was a moment worthy of Bob right there. He's got a good number of kills, oh he's getting a res, he's got his friends! It's Bob and crew, that heavy assault's back. Where are you right now? Oh, Kessel's antiquated. Oh, okay, I will head to Moss Ridge, which uh, 
it looks like Woodman uh, was pushing to Gurney and and uh, Wood. I'm sorry, Woodman was pushing to both Woodman and Gurney Dam to try and stop the the force at Ixitab, and they seem to have done that so far. So I'm heading to Woodman ASE right now. Trying to follow this heavy assault. Um, it's a brutal fight going on. Miller has the control of the capture point, but Woodman is not giving up. They are very stalwartly, constantly applying pressure. Still plenty of bases, still plenty of infantry. I don't see much Miller Air Force. I mean, they are trying to do some bombardment, but they need to get rid of the Sunder, and they've spot the Sunder. The Sunder's been detected. There is no one from Woodman defending lovely roadkill air on that harasser. Putting down the anti-vehicle mines, putting down the grenades, and that's got to be the Sunder dead. It has to be, yep. That is the spawn point for Woodman's TR cut off. And even though they've managed to get the capture point, the problem is they now have two and a half minutes of no reinforcements. Uh, Woodman ASE was saved by Miller. Uh, they now outpop them massively here, as was Gurney Dam. Uh, but they had to sacrifice the force that they had at Exodot Power Regulation to do that, and they're losing Moss Ridge Command Center, which I don't know if these guys will be able to, to redeploy and resecure that uh, as quickly. There's only a minute left on that. That's where I'm headed. Well, there's a large force of Miller still at Kessel Landscape Crossing. They're concentrating the point. Woodman, sorry, Woodman on the point. Miller has roughly even population numbers, although we're really only talking under a platoon, so Miller could theoretically, we need to get to a point in two minutes. I mean, I'm expecting more of them to redeploy or a more concentrated force rather than just kind of like having small guys having little fights here and there. There is a huge resecure attempting from Miller right here. It's so large, I'm losing frames. I'm down to like five frames a second. They are almost at the point with 24 seconds Moss at uh, Moss Ridge at Moss Ridge Command Center. I don't know if they're going to make it though. They're getting chewed up at the doorway. They just got absolutely destroyed trying to get into that door. But they are still trying to play. There's a last minute dash going to the point. They are on the point! Oh wow, I forgot that. They just absolutely YOLO'd onto the point. I apologize for that phrase. But they just totally made it to the point. They're still getting mobbed up. The Woodman TR force has realized, oh my god, oh no you don't, oh no you don't. So they've counter rallied to the Alpha point. All of Woodman's TR is running to the, point, the capture point. They're gonna take it back. Is there any Miller reinforcements? Yes, there's Miller reinforcements coming from the stairs. The point is still being contested. It's going back and forth. Very hard to say who's got the most numbers. Both forces on the point. It looks like Miller. Miller has the control of the point. Lots of smoke. I think Miller's got it. Oh my goodness. That was close. That small group of five or six guys who ran on the point and just made sure they had it. Very, some of those people, very last some of those people were, were zombies. They had just been rezzed from the doorway and they just said, you know what, I'm not even going to try and shoot anyone. I'm just going to run That's as fast the right as I can approach, to the point. When it's like 10 seconds to go and you don't care about the KD or what it is, just run for the point. Even if one of you makes it and you can stall for 10 seconds so all the guys behind you can get catch up and help you, that's the right approach. And it's good timing there. So well done now, to you on there. Here is the exact same situation at construction site Zeta. Uh, there is a small force of TR, they are staying outside of the point, uh, staying outside of the doors, and they might have been able to do the same thing, get in there, flip that point back, but they aren't, they're staying outside, they're just trying to snipe them from the other side, their max is just moved in. The, the point where you absolutely desperately charge, it's got to be like a 15 second marker, there's, there's no other options, but Miller's got an exceptionally good control on the balconies, watching all the choke points coming in, it does not look like there's enough of uh, Woodman to make a difference here. I mean, they're trying, but Miller's got, they managed to get lights on the point, but he's just got flanking killed. It's not enough concentration of numbers, and Miller gets construction size eight. Yeah, Miller gets it. The enemy has the facility. A costly failure. Uh, Miller's also applying pressure to fix the power regulation, uh, and uh, Genesis Terraforming was a small kind of distraction attack. They've saved Moss Ridge Command Center. A can East Storage Depot is being attacked by Woodman. We'll go check that out, and it looks like Kessel's Antiquity Crossing has been saved by Miller Grand uh, Prophet. I am headed to uh, Moss Ridge uh, to see where that force moves to, uh, or if uh, if Woodman can, can get to it. I Honestly, I can't really point to a moment where where Woodman seemed like they were down as much as they are. They, they seem to constantly be coming back with attacks and everything, they just, they're losing that game of inches. They're losing their, yeah, their very, resecures. Yeah, very, very short. The timing is just off. The numbers aren't so bad, but the timing is just off, and Miller is constantly applying the pressure of being on the offensive. Because they're always on the offensive, Woodman is always having to, for the most part, play on their own territory. And 
It looks like Woodman has mega redeployed in Gurney Dam, and they've saved Gurney Dam. And uh, look, look, if you look at the base, right, so Woodman is trying to attack Easter Can, and they're trying to attack Gurney Dam, but they lost, right? So that's two offensive bases, and they were trying to do Kessels. Miller's saving Kessels. They were attacking, now they're saving uh, Moss Ridge. Uh, Miller's attacking uh, Ixta Power Regulation, and it looks like Woodman uh, is trying to take back Hydroponics. So I like it that they're being aggressive. I like it that they're trying to attack. Um, and get their territory back, but the problem is Miller's redeployments are always really, you know, they're timed when they want to. They, they're pulling it off time and again. They'll be pulling just enough. I don't know if it's because Woodman's showing their hand too early or how many people are there. But yesterday we had an incident where and 30 seconds to go until I can't Eastern Storage has actually fallen, and we'll just talk about the tactics in a second. We're wondering if Miller can get in. They're dropping Bulldog Galaxies. I don't know if there's enough infantry? We've got good engineer turrets on the point. Rocket pods coming in. Doesn't look like it's actually hitting anything. Just 15 seconds to go. I think Woodman might actually get this base. Oh wait, here comes the last push. 10 seconds to go. Infantry drops down. Doesn't look like it's enough. Engineer turrets are mopping up. We have got some Woodman on the point. They are near it. Miller. I don't know if they got enough. They're on the point. One second. There we go. Um, they're well done to Woodman. They're actually doing a proper attack. Miller coming in far too weakly. Miller has managed to resecure Moss Ridge uh, Command Center, and uh, and and push. There, there was a, a few uh, Sunderers parked in the the little secret spot down in the second warehouse, but uh, those are mop mopped up. They have a ton of Air Force here, and that was actually something I wanted to ask you. You are as a uh, as a TR. What does your resources look like right now? Because that's going to start becoming a problem if it hasn't already. The aerospace resources for Miller is plus eighty five. What be what be you guys? Uh, plus 150. Really? And oh, okay. I have, uh, well, I'm, I'm playing as, uh, NC, so... Oh, uh, sorry, yeah, Mi yeah, so the Air Force, Miller, sorry, Woodman's Air Force is 85. I'm plus 150, and what's your infantry resources? Uh, infantry Mine resources is 155. Is 85, so it's less. Again. And the mechanized is 130. Yeah, that right there is, is going to start becoming an issue. It, you know, can you pull maxes anymore? Can you pull air to deal with air right. uh, as this as this moves on? The important thing at Can East um, Storage Depot is that Miller's came in admittedly a little bit late, but they have uh, control. They have more numbers, and they have air control, and they're just controlling the base. I'd be surprised if Miller gave this away. I mean, Woodman, it's, it's all in their court. There is a generator on the floor. Do they want to go down and defend the generator? Because if they defend the fair, fix the generator, which is actually what we're going to go have a look at. They are not fixing the... Oh, uh, where is the... Look, here's the generator. I can't believe this. They've run right past the generator. Woodman should be repairing this generator. That defends the capture point so that Miller cannot go in and save it. It's almost criminal that Woodman is not doing that and they're going straight for the capture point when what they should be doing is going via the generator, fixing it so it cuts off these, sh it puts shields back up so that Miller can't freely move back and forth and, the and then attacking in force on the capture point because Miller can't get any reinforcements. I mean, and it's still roughly even numbers, 54 to 45. No reason why Woodman can't save this base for two minutes to go. At Shack Fusion Lab, Miller is on the point. Uh, doing a nice point hold defense, and I'm seeing a little bit of uh, Woodman TR starting to group up. Uh, doesn't look like they have enough to push the point, but uh, they might be waiting to uh, to get some extra people to spawn in here. It's sure. 90 seconds again. Uh, you know, if if you need to be respawning in the way this has been going, you need oh. to be respawning in right now. Okay, so I'm currently looking at Akan Eastern Storage right now, but I'm going to wander over to Staggered because I think Miller's making a very strong attempt to take um, Staggered. Staggered Mesa Outpost, the outnumbers for Miller, they have over a platoon here. They're outnumbering the defenders 3 to 1. They've got themselves a uh, good Sunder deployment. Although they are getting picked up perhaps by some. Oh, it's right by the vehicle spawn exit, so the Sunder's perhaps trying to prevent um, any vehicles for Woodman. Inside the actual capture point itself, a couple of maxes, a couple of infantry, the capture point itself. Uh, again, maxes a lot more infantry, but outside, uh, towards the spawn room, we can see that Miller's deciding to have a defense on the outside, so they don't have to worry about enemy air. And in fact, their own air force is really suppressing. Now that is a very far away spawning teleporter room. It's a very long way for um, Woodman's TR to get across this walkway. It's, it, 
didn't you? You just got decimated and destroyed. The teleport room right here's the teleporter room here. So that's what Woodman's using, and this is what Miller is trying to suppress outside, trying to suppress this one room. I'm actually surprised Miller hasn't tried to get in space early, because as I look at it now, tactically speaking, you know, it favours the attackers, because you can throttle, so long as you have air control, you can throttle the main uh, way in, uh, this bridge. <laughs> the Miller Air Force has showed up in insane numbers at Gurney Dam, uh, trying to help their guys push through. It's 30 seconds left, there is a large force pushing to the stairs. Uh, it, this, without that Air Force, this would look like it, it was probably a lost cause for Miller, but the Air Force just utterly takes out any kind of spawns they oh, had. It allows their people to uh, to push in, and it's something that Woodman doesn't have. They don't have the ability to just say, nothing's moving outside, go ahead and get the point, guys. And there again, another another save by Miller, not at the last second, with about 30 seconds it's left on be that base. It's gonna the Air Force. I mean, I just think a team that decides to keep its Air Force effectively with ground attack once they have air control, the fact that they can freely move around, dominate the enemy spawns, dominate the freedom of movement that teams have, and then also provide support to your own guys on the ground. Um, let's get Stargard Mesa. I was right. Um, now this, I'd like it if Miller's Air Force came back to Stargard Mesa, uh, Stargard Mesa and I'd really like it if Woodman managed to pull Air Force because they're very close to the warp gate now and uh, counterattacked and provided some support on the ground. But with nine seconds to go, there is a very large pool from Wooden, but it's, it's too, just too far too away. It's probably the guys who attacked Grony Dam, and I'd rather, rather than attacking... In fact, Miller's come back with her Galaxy Liberator over... Um, sorry, the, the large force at Kessel's Antiquated Crossing got to the point, managed to take it back, and they were beautifully outflanked at Rushwash's awful pit, uh, where now they can't do anything to this point here. <laughs> so they, so, uh, so as uh, dominant outfit mercers on the ground, but the fact is uh, they were yelling in yell chat. Why don't you come inside? It's totally clear <laughs> to their to their woodman um, opponents. Uh, so Miller more or less gets um, this construction site data for free, and pressure is being applied on Southgate. Although uh, it does look like uh, Woodman TR has redeployed in. Oh yeah, quite a handsome. So and this is the difficulty on this base, guys. If I show you on the minimap. The spawn building is this building down here uh, in between Bravo and Alpha. And the fact is they can teleport uh, to the top, to the north, and Charlie and Bravo are so far apart with Alpha. And when the spawn room is, is that the defenders are very easy to get to one point and just one point alone, and they can, uh, you know, have freedom of movement, whereas the, the attackers need to hold at least two points. So they could hold Charlie, they could hold Alpha, but then it's a 20 minute base capture. They have to hold Bravo, but Bravo's on the wrong side of the spawn building. So it's very, very difficult to contain the defenders as the attackers on this base. It's like a lot of fighting going on at Hate Skydock again. Rust Wash is being saved and Kessel I'm at Rust Wash, yeah. And it looks like they're ready on Kessel's as well. Yeah, I think that they left their people on the point, uh, which is a, a smart move. Genesis Terraforming is also going down. I'm going to head over there. That's another large facility that should be difficult to take with multiple points. Oh, yeah. um, the balconies, as they usually do. So you've got the Alpha Capture Point. Uh, okay, in comes now the Woodman Force. They need to defend this. 30 seconds to go. They're going to apply the pressure to the staircase. They're trying to get up one of the flanking stairs. They are flanking up one of the stairs. They're flipping the point. And I think it's a safe for Woodman. Yeah. Just a little bit too many. A Very minor, close. a minor note about the Mossridge fight. Uh, there was a galaxy drop or two of Miller guys, and it was they didn't have an infiltrator with them. Everyone in their squad had darts on their uh, their crossbow, and you could hear the entire squad firing their crossbows, <laughs> darting the entire place, yeah, yeah, and then rushing the point. So Woodman, I uh, still has to defend. Uh, Southgate. Miller is not giving up. They are constantly applying pressure at um, Southgate checkpoint. I'm headed up to Kessels to see uh, how that's going. It seems very back and forth as always. The thing about Southgate, the Alpha Capital Point is so exposed. With 10 minutes remaining, what do you think? Uh, Woodman needs to push for. I mean, it, it, at Everything. this point, we're just we're just trying to get some some points to make that score a little bit uh, a little bit more in your favor. What what is weak? What can they push to? Um, 
the, the problem is, is that they need to oh wow there's even an attack going at vex biologics they've got humility doing a an air resecure of construction site beta right now there's a galaxy above us there's a lot of tr on the point right now i, I they might be able to stop this resecure Huge or oh, 10 seconds, you've got to think that Miller's got enough time to run in. It only takes about five oh, seconds. Oh, Miller has a point. huge max force ready to pull. Now, there comes the Miller force, absolutely last second. I mean, you can't really delay that anymore. And it was surprising me how much time they were taking. They could have run in sooner. That was close. That was really close. And Kessels were you at Beta Kessels? or Kessels? I, was I, I think the same thing. Oh, last it looked like it was seconds. Saves. Yeah. Wow. Last minute, I think I think it's, we're kind of safe to call it. I think we're all going to be residents of uh, of Miller. Do you think? I I think that even if these two bases happen, that that's that's going to be the case. So, I am uh, here at Kessels. It looks like they have completely wiped Woodman out of here. It's n there is no counter push that I can see uh, that's going to make it to this point in time to to start the cap again. What about at Beta? Have they completely wiped them out, or is there a counter push there? Uh, no, Beta has been a wipe. Uh, they are trying to respawn on the Sunders, um, but uh, Miller's applying a lot of pressure on the ground, coming in from the rear, and just um, milling some wood, I guess. <laughs> well, 35 seconds, under 30 seconds, and uh, I definitely think uh, congrats, uh, Miller, and uh, well played, Woodman. Yes. Wow, well, so that's. Um, some impressive stuff with only uh, 11 seconds to go left on the alert. Uh, I think we can safely call uh, Miller's the winners with 61% uh, in the territory on Woodman on 38. I believe so. And that was it. Ooh, I just got kicked. <laughs> I just, yeah, <laughs> I, I got killed as well. <laughs> Interesting. All right, uh, Radar, if you would please. Uh, make an announcement on the all call for us. So while we're waiting, just some final stats for you guys, right? Highest weapon kill to date was the anti-vehicle grenade at 1,354 kills. In the two hour game, we had a total of 30,522 kills. We had 2,712 TKs. We had 33,251 deaths, and we had a total of 1,068 suicides. <laughs> nice. Dem stats. Dem stats. Yeah. Second top gun was the LA-1 Anchor, uh, 1,303 kills. The T7 Mini Chain Gun was 1,204 kills. And then comes a, a variety of other uh, weapons. Um, interestingly enough, the T9 Carp, which I have rated very highly, was only 895. And the breaker rocket pods, which we saw lots of them, was uh, 848 kills. Nice. We good to go, Woodman? Uh, uh, the red limb? I believe so, yes. Uh, yeah. Are we missing anyone uh, who needs to be here to talk for the servers? Um, I think Gav is not here yet. No, Gav's not here yet. Okay. Um, where's Anger? Is Anger here? Uh, I don't know. Angie's oh, missing as well. The most contested base is, was uh, Kessel's Antiquity Crossing for 14 times and Haydock Skydock for 13 times. Not Hunter's Blind? <laughs> it was up there, it was on the uh, oh, alert. Yeah, I seven. spent half of, the, half of that alert on Hunter's Blind. <laughs> it was good though. It was a really good fight. Alright, let's just get started then, Red Limp. Uh, is anything burning in your desire you want to ask? Uh, I just, I, I want to know, uh, Woodman, you know, it seemed to us, last, yesterday's match seemed like there was a turning point. I personally didn't seem that there was a turning point, it just, it seemed to me like you guys were constantly just losing by inches, by seconds, bases. Did, did that just add up? Were you, were, was it death by a thousand cuts? Or can you point to something specifically in the base where, or in the match where you thought, you know what, that, that was the turning point? At this point in time, without actually having the chance to have analyzed any of the things that have happened, uh, we are not able to say uh, we did our best to respond to any threat that came in, especially the air threat, as usual, is, hmm. well, just an extremely, just, an extremely good force multiplier. What, uh, how did you feel, Woodman, uh, that the beginning of the match worked? Did, did you feel like you got what you wanted off the beginning of the match, or did, did
did that not go well? Did you have to react to it? It depends on what platoons you're asking. Yeah. yeah. No best. Yeah. Sixty percent we take what we wanted, but those thirty percent really hurt us. That showed up in the middle of the map later on. At, Miller. At, oh, good. Yeah. At all times we. Yeah. Miller, how did you feel that the uh, the beginning of the the match went? Did you get what you wanted to? Did you feel like you had to react immediately because you didn't get what you needed, or? Well, from according to plan. Yeah, from much. the start off, we um, I decided what bases I wanted for the match, and while we had to defend from Woodman in certain places, uh, we did eventually get those bases. Those bases were Woodman AC and Ixta Power Rig, even though we lost the latter one, uh, and Kessel's Antiquated and also Hunter's Blind. Those are the key bases we required, uh, and we got them. And I think that's probably getting those key bases definitely did help us win. The, the Kessel's Antiquated, it did kind of go back and forth. You didn't seem to, I mean, you tried once or twice to go for Chak, um, Fusion Lab. Did you feel that it was no point because you're too close to the tech plant, it'll be too hard to get for, or what? Pretty much we felt Kessel's was an expletive view base. Um, so it would be nice if we get it, got it, but uh, it wasn't 100% necessary. Uh, we only had one platoon up there, uh, platoon one for us. So they were looking after the Hate Sky Dot slash Kessel's Antiquated uh, planes. Um, they were just basically keeping Woodman busy up there. Mm, it was a population dump. We were looking to move your guys, Woodman, over there and let them fight over those two bases. Didn't matter then. And Hade is always a population dump as well. It then gave us access to the center of the south. What, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm curious, especially at the beginning, how did you value some of those bases? Was there a base that, uh, you know, what, what Miller, what was the base that you thought, we have to get this off the top? And, and Woodman, what was the one for you? Believe it or not, for uh, for us, it was Nasons and also <laughs> Gone Dam. Um, and for us too, Nasons so and Gone Dam. It's just, it's that center area that you, that's yeah. where everyone pushes to. Pretty much, yeah. Um, another yeah, base would have been Hunter's Blind as well, which we had really <laughs> had to fight for. That so, was a very good fight. <laughs> Those were some very good pushes. The bridges and then back to... I, I think Woodman kind of um, undervalued the uh, ACAM bio slightly. Um, we, were managed to, we managed to just push straight through there, get all the percentage and sit on East Aiken and quite happily just hold that extra percentage quite early. I wonder, uh, Woodman, how did you feel uh, the air battles went? We saw uh, one brilliant flank by your uh, your air platoon into uh, at least a, a significant portion of Miller's air guys where they didn't see mm -hmm. them coming and you managed to, to wipe them. Uh, it seemed like as the match went on you were becoming resource starved and air became a problem for you, but did you feel like you were competitive in the air, air the whole time and, and just no. the resources got you? No, the resources got us. We were dominated by the air. Uh, mm -hmm. At one point we ordered, I ordered uh, two and a half platoons in the air just to get rid of theirs. Unfortunately, they are supplied there pretty fast, so... That's the thing I found that uh, helped us quite a lot. I was looking at the resource filter in the map, getting key bases for air. Um, I forget which ones in particular, but uh, I did focus my tactics around some of the re resources that we had. Uh, making sure that the air guys were fully topped up, ready to pull as needed. Did both of you uh, basically assign people to certain sections of the map, or was it when somebody was free, you sent them where they where they were needed, or did people have, you know, like, you're going to deal with the north, you're going to deal with the south kind of stuff? Um, well, I'll let one with me if you want, because I'm there always, <laughs> I'm always first. <laughs> no, we didn't have assigned uh, patrons uh, to the areas. Well, we, ha we had the overall tactic and everyone followed it perfectly. Okay. For Miller is slightly different. For Miller, uh, we had Platoon 1 as a sit in the north. Uh, we had two fast response platoons, so that's Platoon 4 and Platoon 5, who did an absolutely excellent job at doing so. They were really quick off the mark. Um, I, have to, I had a meeting before everybody, uh, the match started as well, and I requested that all squads and platoons had a galaxy in their squad each, which is, I think, a contribution to our success, because we were able to just simply get on the points miles quicker um, than, the, than the rest. So I think that really did help. Without giving away too much of your guys' strategy, is there, you know, so this is the largest match we've done. Uh, what did you put those extra people into? Was it air? Was it ground? Was it some special thing, you know, fast fast redeploy? What did you decide? You, I, so I've, I've, you've done 240 before. 
where did you decide those people needed to go into in general? Well, uh, quite a lot of them um, went to the air. Um, just as you can comment more, because he's he did the more organizational type. So, do you want to have a comment on that? It, it, just a sec. It wasn't quite that. We took three squads, didn't we? And we made an extra platoon out of them, and we stuck an extra squad in the air, because on discussion with our air marshals and Justy, it was decided it wouldn't be of the best use of our resources to put more people in the air. That we kind of reach a saturation point. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Was it the same thing for Woodman, or did you, uh, no, did you use your the stuff? the problem, the problem with Woodman is that we don't have so much uh, pilots. So hmm. basically, we just started with uh, two air squads, and then, uh, if needed be, we pulled up platoons, entire platoons uh, in the air. We're multifaceted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not just air or infantry. That's the thing. I mean, Miller is a very large server with a very competitive air to it. Woodman likes to play the game, yes, but air is not our strongest suit. So we all just pick up, pull air, and do what we Look can. Look at so. the bright side, Sakura. It is now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so I can look forward to getting farmed on points by mercenaries. So, is there anything that uh, that anyone from Woodman or Miller, you know, wants to say that we haven't brought up here? Some specific point of the match that that you want to bring up? I would well, I just, like I... to bring something up. Um, it seems quite apparent to me um, that uh, first off, hats off to Miller again. Um, in last, in basically every match we've ever seen of this type of scale, um, this was the first time tonight that I'd actually ordered my guys to pull tanks, and they were literally going to destroy Sunders. It's like tanks are so redundant in this kind of type of game, um, with the way the game's set up. It's it's quite disheartening for a lot of the guys who do like tanking. Um, there's just no no space for them. There's no room for them at the moment, which is sad. Um, I did see a uh, I did see Miller pulled an armor force at uh, uh, Kessels right near the end. I don't know if that yep, was deliberate what, or not. That's when we re really pulled and pulled prowl pulled prowlers. <laughs> so we do see like you know there's tanks here and there and everywhere you know every once in a while, but it's not as prominent as the air force. You don't you know you see a death no. ball of air, you don't see a death ball mm. of vehicles. No. Isn't it? Yeah. Work. Yeah. Vehicles exactly, yeah. Good enough. yeah. For, for me, you know, are, uh, arguably underpowered. In, and it uh, might get. I, I would not say worse, but the the meta might go even more heavy air, where you know you're all arm, you know, air armored core. Because if you get things like the Valkyrie, I mean, you can still redeploy very quickly. But I wonder if that's going to provide that even extra ability to you know move around and abuse the territory of the train. Yeah, bunny hopping with Valkyries, bunny hopping bases will become very prominent. More so than it is now, I think. Mm -hmm. Justy, you had uh, something you wanted to talk well, about? Well, I wanted to speak about the map in, in particular. You know, last time we had the same map, we, we had Woodman against Miller, and we we Miller fought from the east, and Woodman fought from the west, and, and Miller won in that case. And, you know, people were, were talking about East Warpgate being overpowered, but we, we, we played the exact same map today, and I think the map is very balanced, and, you know, it does, just depends on what kind of tactics you can pull and what kind of force you can bring. But I think, I think some, a, of, some of the map. bases, some of the bases that that constantly had the fights are obviously balanced. They were the ones that constantly had back and forth Kessels and and uh, uh, Hade Sky Dock and all yeah. of those where we were constantly back and forth. True, you and the multi-point really bases forward. are very important. The multi-point, you know, you, the, the nation's defiance at the beginning is very important. You, you can just see, you know, you'll never lose that again. Oh, there's Something. one question <laughs> about the match. Were mm -hmm. you entertained? Uh, we, we were, were very so entertained. entertained. There we, we so, go. We were so entertained we sent a full all our forces <laughs> on Constructed Site Omega to try and walk at you all. Yeah, I know you were entertained about Well, that. one thing I would like to bring up is all the people who did all the work leveling the characters, you know. Oh, I've got to say that was awesome. Ah. Snucking in for a level 10 and just going, wow, thanks guys. Yeah. So, whoever did that, awesome. We I, we need to say a big thank you to Darth CBS for handing out all the characters and organizing everything to Anga. And Gav and everybody, everyone did their part. It doesn't matter who won. Everyone worked together. We had a great match. And we're looking forward to the match. Merger smash. Yeah. Just basically merging together with another server. This will make for another step in interesting fights. Right. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the match. And you'll get to meet KOTV. And you'll get to meet Dick. <laughs> 
Yes, <laughs> we're all looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> so you to meet yeah. Um, we are we're currently asking uh, force commanders and reps uh, the specific names of a couple people who were our top killers. So when we get that information, we're going to uh, okay, so who's to tell the that. Outfit, um, CSG. What do they stand for? Coldstream Guard. Coldstream Guard. A guy called Skyka. Um, he was in the Cancer Smash NC 485. He got 200 kills and 52 deaths. He's the highest killer for Miller today. It's 100 kills per hour. And uh, capture any bases? I we don't have those statistics. He had no suicides. <laughs> <and CTs. laughs> farming it. Yeah, he's probably farming. And uh, Sky Wolves. Does he have an outfit? Yeah, it was uh, Sly Wolves. So, I am. Um... Sly um, yeah, I've used because VIB, but in, uh, in chat they said 2CA. So oh, so sure. 2CA. The fact is yeah. he had 208 kills, 72 deaths, and 17 TKs. So of those course it was VIB. <laughs> it had to be VIB, didn't it? Of course it had. They had their farming overalls on and their pitchforks out. That's why they were ready to farm. Mm. Well, That's you guys VIB certainly... Uh, you know what? Neither one of you can give either other server uh, crap about grenades because both of you <laughs> put the tank grenade at the top of that kill list right there. So, yeah, yeah it works. Right. All right. Well, um, unless you guys have anything else final you want to say, we'll just wrap up today and uh, we'll okay. go into our finishing. All right. Straight Sepp is saying, Justy, you didn't get enough thanks there, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Uh, I'd like to thank Gigi. all. The, I'd like to thank the stream as well to all of those that are looking and watching the stream. And to everybody who's from Miller supporting us as well, thank you very much, guys. And I'm glad we can, to co can continue the Miller night. And yeah, don't I'm forget just... to say hi to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> mom. Everybody always forgets to say mom. Right, well, that was the end of our murder smash, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. To recap, Miller gets to keep their out, uh, server name, um, winning at 62% against Woodman's 37%. Um, yes, we realize that doesn't make a hundred. That's because there's a little bit of neutral. Let's, let's not go into that. Uh, what do you think, Redland? Awesome game? I think that that was a, an awesome game. And again, it's this is the thing that we dealt with the last time these two servers met. The score doesn't really reflect how close that game was. Uh, you know, the Woodman put up a fight at every single base they were at, and the bases that they lost, they lost by seconds. It was, it really yeah. is a shame. They had the forces, they had the tactics, they they even had, uh, uh you know, the the gunning. We saw that in the, in the kills between the two top killers. It was just a matter of they were one or two or five seconds too late to get to a base. Sure. Right. Well, um, that's us for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the show. Um, in future broadcasts, um, there will be obviously future stuff. Uh, probably there'll be another server smash around three or four weeks from now. We just need to... We are waiting for the murder smashes to be finished before we start working on new stuff. We do have things that we want to try. Uh, I am explicitly forbidden from mentioning anything uh, because we don't want to give any promises, but it's epic. We are looking forward now that we have four big servers to making possibly something to do with that with the four big servers and won't go into details there and um, we do have a new map on amrish that we would like to try soon that may be the next server smash too so by all means um stay tuned uh our subreddit um server smash and um we will um give you information as we know more and uh, at last a uh, big shout out to soe for giving us jaeger for giving us accounts over this weekend giving us help giving us alerts we simply couldn't have done this type of production without them and also a shout out to Maelstrom and GRWR for uh, helping put the production together, you know, the different kind of scoreboard systems and everything we have. So with that in mind, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and we will see you sometime soon, hopefully the end of August. Bye, guys.